Think Green with Harrison. As global warmings launch new environmental concerns, fluoride in tap water once again rears its ugly head. So why all the controversy if it's good for the teeth? Turns out the stuff in common tap water happens to be a sister compound to sodium fluoroacetate, a common form of rat poison. According to studies by the Case Institute, the byproduct of phosphate mining in which they make fertilizer and laundry detergent is liquid fluoride. So toxic it costs seven grand a barrel to bury. Now in bed with the government, companies can avoid expensive burial costs by diluting fluoride in city water supplies. Tap water goes directly down the throat and through the body's major organs. Liver and kidneys then receive, ready for this? Lead, cadmium, phosphorus, selenium, mercury, silver, chromium, arsenic, and uranium-238. Radioactive, by the way. Turns out the federal government subsidizes it by giving block grants of up to 100 grand for cities to start adding fluoride to their tap water. An EPA source told me the chemical company's joke, the solution to pollution is dilution. Better to poison a lot of people a little than a few people a lot. Think Green with Harrison. Visit or email Harrison on the web at www.goharrison.com.